Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from Lead Code. The problem name is Super Pow. So uh, what your problem statement states that you are given that you want to calculate a to the power of b mod one three three seven. Okay, where a is a positive integer and b is an extremely large positive integer given in the form of, form of an array. So as you can see that b is an integer or like a large number which has that b can be up to two thousand digits. So you are given a very large number inside of b. So as you can see that it is uh, the number that is or let's say like 5 to the power of it's not one, it's 1 but let's assume that a is equal to 5 a can be from uh, 1 till a uh, very large number as well so uh, with what you can see is that let's say 5 to the power of 4 3 3 5 8 2 so it's a very large number like stored in a form of an array okay that's the overall thing so you just have to form a to the power of b mod 1 3 7 okay now how you can do that so if you already have not seen my mod videos how you can calculate mod uh, uh, because how mod is transferred in a multiplicative property or additive property so uh, addition property you have i will link that particular video in the i button you can check that out first but i all like in any problem of modular arithmetic i use these two functions of finding out mod let's say i want to find out a mod of x mod m okay so i just do first x mod m plus m this whole mod m that will just give you the x mod m value similarly when you want to multiply those two values let's say i have two values of a into b mod m then what you can do is a mod m into b mod m whole mod m okay so what you can do is that you have to first do a mod into b mod and that whole mod so this will just help us to find out mod value of multiplication of two values that is the two function that we're using throughout this whole program. Okay. Now, what you understand is, let's say that we have a very large number. Let's take a large number and try to understand that, how we can uh, approach this problem. Also, what you can see is that the power can be up till 2000. Okay, so 2000, not like the value, but 2000 digits. So let's just take a, let's say a four digit number, or like five digits. So let's say five to the power of, uh, let's say five digit number. So let's say one, two, five, six, nine. So we have to find out this value mod 1337. Uh, let us call it M. First, we will see that can we somehow break this number into smaller numbers so that we can calculate that value easily. What you can see is that you can write down 5 to the power of 1, 4 zeros into 5 to the power of 2, 3 zeros into 5 to the power of 5, double zero into 5 to the power of 60 into 5 to the power of 9. I hope you get the point. So what you can actually say is that these have now multiple like got into a multiple of 10. So uh, how can you get these values of now? Okay, can I, like so what you can do is that these are values and if you want to find out this value mod this value, this is eventually also equal to this value mod m. So what you can actually do is that calculate this value mod m, this value mod m and just multiply them so we can use the multiplication mod uh, function that we have used. So that's what we're going to do that first we have to find out 5 more 5 to the power of 10,000 or 5 to the power of 2,000. How we can check it out. 5 to the power of 2,000 can also be break down into 5 to the power of 1,000 into 5 to the power of 1,000. Got it. So any number let's say 5 to the power of 500 can again break out as 5 to the power of 100 into 5 to the power of 100 into 5 5 to the power of 100 uh, 5 times so 5 to the power of 100 5 times so because addition like multiplication if you do in power terms it actually means that you are adding 100 5 times which is 500 got it so what you trying to also see that any number can be derived from a multiple if you just find out let's say any a to the power of 10 a to the power of 100 a to the power of uh, 1000 if you just got all of those multiple of uh, like power multiples of 10 so let's say 10 100 1000 a to the power of 10 a to the power of 100 mod m if you find out all those values then you can directly take let's say if you want to like let's say 1 to 5 find out 5 to the power of 60 just take this 5 to the power of 10 but 10 uh, 6 times you will get 5 to the power of 60 so 5 to the power of 100 means that Take 5 to the power of 100, but multiply it same uh, same value with 5 times, you will get 5 to the power of 100. And just multiply all of these values again, and you will get the value. So, I hope you get the point. 
that how we will approach this problem now how we'll get these values out what you can see is again that if i have 8 to the power of like 5 to the power of 10 if i just multiply this value 10 times i will get 5 to the power of 100 because 10 multiply 100 times like 10 times will get 100 now 100 multiply 10 times will get 1000 1000 multiply 10 times will get 10000 uh, so what you can see is that whatever value i will generate just multiply 10 times with itself and you will get the next value so then again 10 times you get the next value so because the value can be up till this value can be up till 2000 i can maximum get that this value like 1 to the power of zeros can be up till you can have 20000 like uh, 2000 zeros okay so 2000 zeros so 5 to the power of 2000 zeros okay that's the maximum number value you can get so you can just calculate all of those values out and store it and then for every value you can just use it out okay so that's the overall logic we will be using out here now i'll just move on to the code part so it will become booklet you so you have to first find out 10 value okay by 10 value i means that 5 to 8 to the power of 10 from 10 you will get 8 above 100 so 10 multiply it 10 times okay so we have to first get 10 value so how you can get the 10 value you will use like say so you will multiply a 10 times so you will, so let's say a a a so let's say 5 5 5 10 times you multiply you will 8 5 to the power 10 so what you'll do is that you will multiply that let's say that number 10 times and you will get that particular number that is so in value you will get a number now you will if i get the ninth value then i'll just multiply it one more time and you will get the tenth value so value 10 is storing out the any number that is a to the power of 10. now i have to get that particular value for the 10 100 1000 and so on so i will be storing out this power 10 which means that power of 10 is incrementing now what i'll do is that it is a like power of 10 0 is any size with a which is like the starting value and 1 which means that any a uh, power with 1 is equal to this particular value. So let's say if I have a to the power of 10, which means that I have only 1 times 0. This this 1 represents how many zeros it has. So it so 1 times 0, which means a to the power of 10 is the 10th value, which I have calculated here. Now from, let's say if I want to get a to the power of 100, which means that I will use this value, which is a to the power of 10, multiply itself with 10 times. So for getting all the other values from 2 to 2000, I will take the ith value and multiply it with 10 times. So whatever value I have, let's say ith value, multiply itself, uh, I'm multiplying itself with 10 times. So 10 times it is multiplied. So I, let's say for next value, 100, I will get a 100 value, multiply itself with 10 times. So the previous value, so for getting the ith value, let's say 100, I'll get, take the previous value i minus 1, multiply itself with 10 times. So th this next value, and I will get 100. Now 100 value multiplied itself with 10 times will get to 1000 and so on. So I will have got all of those values in my hand. Now let's say I want to calculate out the value of 5 to the power of let's say this value. So it is equal to this value, the last value, the last number, okay, multiply itself uh, with let's say uh, like 5 multiply itself with 9 times. Then 5 like 5 to the power of 10 multiply itself with 6 times. 5 to the power of uh, 100 multiply itself with 5 times. 5 to the power of 1000 multiply itself with 2 times. So what I'll do is that I will iterate over all these numbers one by one okay from back to front and it will check that what is the number i am on so let's say that the last digit okay so the last digit is that i have whatever is it so let's say two so i have to multiply two times five so i have to multiply the so this is like index which is like the back index so let's say if i'm moving let's say zeroth index so i will multiply this a number two times so a to the power of 10 five times a to the power of 100 eight times so that's what we're gonna see that from count back what is the index i am on and I will just increment that index and for that particular index what I'll do I multiply this value that much of time b of i so b of i means what is the current number I am on so let's say I am 5 times so I will multiply this value 5 times so that is I'm doing a file loop of 5 times and multiply this value again using this multiplication function so any multiplication is done through this multiplication because in build it is doing that mod uh, internally okay so it is doing that multiplication of answer with this particular power to the power of 10 uh, let's say five times and storing it in answer itself so this is actually just iterating over every number inside this b array and whatever it is count multiply that value over of how much index it is on so let's say it is back from two times so eight above 10 or eight above 100 multiply eight times eight above 1000 multiply three times so all of that is multiplying here is adding up and just so you can like go over the code i will pause it out here you can again check it out
and you can uh, start seeing how this actually code is written and you can like practice on with it yourself as well so that, that's the overall code there are multiple approaches to solve this problem out that's not the most optimal way but that's the thing that which i thought to solve this problem with so that's your logic and the code part for this particular problem if you're still around you can make sure in the box of this particular problem thank you for watching the video till the end i will see you in the next one coding and bye